Hey JD, show me your hips. So here's the bracket that you're going to print. And this bracket allows you to hook up two servos to it and it clips onto the bottom of JD's body like so. You can see the bracket that I have there right now. And to install a servo, you have to take the back off of the servo and you have to cut both of the, the edges and use a nice pair of cutters because you need to get as close to the plastic as you can. Okay? So if you can see how how close I am here. Okay? Because they need to sit right flush with each other. And then to insert it in, it's designed really tight to fit. So you can see this one here needs to be cut. So let me just cut that. Okay, so I, I cut that really tight and to insert it in you just kind of have to slide it in. It's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> there we go, just like that. And then you put the screws in the back. So I'll put a couple of those in. I'll turn the camera off for this. Okay, so I screwed the, the uh, screws in. I, you want to put four, I just put two in to show you. There's some heat vents here for the motors so that they don't get too hot because they're going to be carrying a lot of heat. Okay, and now you have two options. In the 3D print file, you have the ability to print some new brackets or you can take two existing brackets and some crazy glue and if you cut very these off really close to the plastic, like I did with these, then you can glue these together. And that's what I did with him. I find that it's gonna be a little stronger. And you, you lose a little, you, you gain a little bit of, of distance, of height because with, uh, with the 3D printed one, it's about three or four millimeters longer. So you make them a little shorter this way, which is better for his walking. And you end up with stronger injection molded plastic. Okay, so you can go that route, or you can 3D print these, and you put the, let's see the one side's for the server, one side's for this little knob here. So we'll put this knob on. And then on the other side, put a screw inside of there, and there you go. And then the leg, of course, would clip on like so. And then you just clip this onto the bottom of your JD, and you have a uh, servo. So load the JD project that has hips. You're not gonna, unless you're gonna create your own, but it's uh. It's got a few motions using the hips right now. Okay, that's it. And that's how you give GD some hips. <laughs>